live. <laughs> uh, we're at Essex Robinson Garden today. Um, so me and Robert are gonna kind of walk you through the garden and kind of show you what we got growing this year. Um, so first, this first row that we have here are onions here. You can see a few over here. They're starting to make pretty good there. And then as they grow, if you just kind of take a little bit of dirt, the bigger they'll get. And so, you know, by probably August, we'll have full-size onions. Okay. There. And uh, this row is peppers. These are banana peppers. I don't know if they're sweet or hot, but you can see there's one ripe for the picking. <laughs> and nothing like eating fresh vegetables right out of the garden. I mean, you give these a little wash and, and man, it, it's so nutritious and, and healthful for you. We also have some bell peppers, green bell peppers here on the right. They're just starting to grow. Oh, we've got a pretty big one over here. Not quite ready to be picked. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah that's pretty a good, good one. size. You see this bell pepper, Isaiah? We're gonna leave that there to, to get a little bit bigger, all right? That's not apple. And then here that's we've got this apple. zucchini plant that kind of popped up from um, last year. Uh, so we didn't plant this one, and I guess some of the seeds had, had laid in the ground and uh, popped up a whole zucchini plant, and it's actually produced quite mm. quite big and dark zucchini. Let's see. We come over here. The process, the yellow flower, everywhere you see a yellow flower, that's that's gonna be a zucchini. If you look at look at that yellow flower right there, this is gonna be a yellow flower that'll open up and then a zucchini will grow out of it. Same thing with any plant basically. Every time you see a little white flower pop up on these bell peppers, there's a bell pepper gonna grow somewhere on it. Same thing with the cucumbers, the yellow flowers. Everywhere you see, and here's a good shot right here. The bee, the pollinator. Without those, the world would be in trouble because they're the ones who actually, they do God's work and make these vegetables grow for us because they have to, those flowers have to be pollinated. Once the flowers are pollinated, you'll get vegetable, but they're referred to as fruit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's a pile of just what what, what they here. collected today. And you got zucchini. You got cucumbers. Look like a beet there. And I think the beets actually the kids put in over the year, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the kiddos claimed uh, they actually planted the seeds in the classroom uh, once they started to, uh, to get a little seedling about this big, we came out, planted them into the ground, and now they're that size. Awesome, very cool, yeah. And very the cool, cool thing about those beets, uh, what I've learned is you can also use the leaves mm -hmm. to put in flowers or cook up like greens, mm -hmm. uh, and they also have a lot of nutritional value with them too. Yeah. All right, you wanna go explore? All right, we got some more zucchini here that we've planted, um, and you can kind of see how Over big they've kind of gotten. They've just all morphed into one. And uh, yeah, yeah, you just kind of try to search behind all of the big leaves to, to find Oops, new you're fine, to find new zucchini. Yeah, everywhere you see a yellow flower, there, that'll be a zucchini. Yeah. There's some coming yeah. on, little bitty I ones coming them. on down there. Did you? What'd you find? <laughs> you didn't find much there. What's behind you? Can you tell John what that is behind you? Huh? What's what is that? This? A broccoli. Yeah, a broccoli. it's a broccoli. <laughs> there might be one ready to pick for you, Isaiah. So tell me if this is kind of what you've heard. Uh, some of the research I found broccoli. that you pick it once it's still green and mm -hmm. while it's still bunched together. Right. Once it mm -hmm. starts to separate, you see like this one's starting to yeah. separate. We should probably go ahead and pick that. And honestly, what do you think, Robert? That should yeah, go ahead and pick. Yeah. Right, Isaiah, you want to grab that one? Yeah. You can grab the whole thing if you can. You want me to hold those peppers for you? You probably need a knife to cut it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is what they call going to flower. It'll make a flower. These these 
broccoli here when it's nice and tight like this this is most suitable when it starts to get like this this is what they call going to flower and it's being picked a little bit later than it should be mm. yeah, so yeah that, that should be one. cut yeah all those should be cut that's that's a nice one there should be cut And then here, this kind of viney plant is a yellow squash plant. This also came up from last year. Um, so we've actually got one that looks like ready to be picked right here. And same with this, uh, you pick it at the at the stem so that this doesn't rot out. Hey Isaiah, do you want it? A tomato. I love it. What color is that tomato? Green. Green. What is this? Do you want to pull that off? That's Let's ready to be picked. It? It's called a yellow squash. Yellow squash. Do you want to do you want to rip it off? We can tear it off right there, and you can have it. You want me to hold the banana pepper? I'll hold this. You pick that off. <laughs> is it a little weird? That's cool. <laughs> Are these tomato plants back here? Yes, we have all in these cages are all tomato plants. Um, we've got the big boys or better boys? Uh, I think they are better boys. These are better boys. These are Romas, which are the difference. Uh, the better boys are slicing tomatoes. They're, they're round. And a lot of people like fried green tomatoes. You get them green. These are Romas. They're more like a, a teardrop shape. And these are, are for making sauce with. These are more better boys. And here you got cherry tomatoes. There's one that's, and they, I mean, they taste like grapes. They, they taste like they actually have sugar on them. And these are just loaded, I mean, you can, see all of them down in there good salad you know mm. you pick pick a handful of these and throw them on a salad excellent excellent nutrition for you and tastes good stop picking them off isaiah you gotta wait till they're red and more squash this right here is actually a weed called lamb's quarter 